Hey everybody, it's Brownie B. Brown here once again. I hope y'all enjoy part one of our best of descendants here on Brownie B. Brown. And we're about, to, and now we're going to show you part two after a special little uh, short skit, The Celebrity Jeopardy in Heaven. So, we're going to show that, and then part two of the best of the descendants. Enjoy! Well, on the bright side, at least I don't have to deal with Sean Connery anymore. We meet again, Trebek! <laughs> Thought you got rid of me, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> oh, come on, Sean! Can't you just let me... Why can't you just let me rest in peace? Well, I would. But I died before you. And I didn't even get a chance. I didn't even get to have my last chance to do a final Celebrity Jeopardy! So why not grant a man his final wish? <laughs> well, but it's just us, so we need at least two or three more people. Look around, Jebek! We're surrounded by celebrities in here! Whole lot of them! We can definitely do this, man! <laughs> Well, it looks like I have no choice. Very well, this is the final Jeopardy. This is Celebrity Jeopardy Heaven Edition. Welcome back to Celebrity Jeopardy in Heaven! Well, we have an interesting game on our hands. In third place, with a negative $150, is Carrie Fisher. Actually, Earth the Kit was supposed to be here, but I didn't hear back from her. If George Lucas ends up here, I'm being his aunt. Language, please! Now, in first place, is Adam West with five bucks. And I have no idea how that's possible. Hello, old chum. So good to be here. And in last place, with no money, is Prince, who left because he was too shy. So replacing him is Naya Rivera. Please calm down, Naya. Screw you all. I don't belong here. I will swear everyone out until I see my son again. Oh, me, oh my. You're one angry little lassie. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on. Last but not least. It's Sean Connery. You know, when I died, I met your mother again. <laughs> and let's just, and let's just say, since we're up here in heaven and all, I had her really shouting hallelujah when I laid my goodness upon her, Trebek. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, man. Oh, come on now. We can totally have sex up here. Yeah, I even did it with Sean Connery. 
Oh, yes, you did. And you were joyfully amazing in bed. I certainly remember that night. <laughs> Stop it! Can we just play the game? Oh, fine, Mr. Killjoy. At least your mother and Carrie are more fun to play with. <laughs> Enough! Enough! <laughs> okay. First category. Sequels of movies which I don't think any of you will know. Second category is Famous Catwoman Actress, which that should be easy for Mr. West. Third category is Puppies, The Beatles, Don't Buzz, and You Pay for Not Inviting Me, Eartha Kit for Celebrity Ju- oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. This isn't a category? Who in the world? How dare you, Trebek? Oh my god, it's Eartha Kid. She came after all. How dare you not invite me? Me! Me! Eartha Kid, the cat's meow, the woman who starred in Ernest Save Halloween. I was even in a Disney movie. I had it all. But you, Trebek, did not invite me to Celebrity Jeopardy? The one thing I did not get to do! No, no, Eartha. That's not true. You were invited. But you didn't respond. You didn't respond, but you're welcome to participate. Well, it's too late. Too, too late for that, Mr. Tebeck. I'm going to turn you into a flea. A tiny little flea. And then I'll put that flea in the box. And then I'll put that box in another box. And then in the, and then I'll have that box mailed to me then. And when it arrives, oh, <laughs> I smash it with the hammer! It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! But first, I have to find my potions. You know, it would help if you labeled your things. Shut up, crank! <laughs> Well, 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 I'm not the only one who hates Trebek. The day is mine! Why do I think you caused this? Well, that's very simple. The answer is very simple. Because I hate you, Trebek! Let's try to get through the second round. We've wasted enough time. Carrie Fisher, pick a category. I want to beat up George. Okay. Adam West, you pick. Well, old chum, I picked the famous Catwoman actress for $400. Alright, good. She was the first ever on-screen Catwoman to debut in the 1960s. Carrie Fisher. No, she was never Catwoman. I flattered, Sean. Oh, Adam, please buzz in. Oh, thank God, thank God. Who is Julie Newmar, old chum? Oh my God, in all the Celebrity Jeopardy history, a celebrity answered correctly. Give him the point. It's the bat signal to the Batmobile. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, wait! Don't don't leave. We're don't leave. We're in the middle of a game. <sighs> Out of all of you, I like Mr. West the most. Well, screw you, Tabak. Well, if he's going, I'm going too. Come here, God. We're gonna have a little talk. Not Naya, please. You cannot beat up God with a baseball bat! Oh, wait, wait, don't leave me alone with Sean Connery and Gary Fisher! <laughs> oh, look, well, we need to replace Adam West and Nanya Rivera because I refuse to do this game with these two. Well, you don't appreciate the love, Debrek? <laughs> That's my cue. Oh, David Bowie. Oh, my God. This is amazing. How dare you not invite David Bowie? This is a big insult. 
Gee, I wonder what other celebrities didn't you invite? Because I know for a damn fact that you didn't invite Tina Turner, Roger Moore, or even Jim Hitson. <laughs> Have you no shame to bet? I can't invite everyone! Ooh! Ooh! Jeopardy! Ooh! Hey, I wanna play! Uh, say burn! Uh, I bet you almighty dollars that I, that I can win this! Uh, uh, hey! Can you see me, Vern? Vern? Uh, hey! You, you, you watching? Uh, make, make sure you got it on your TV and everything! <laughs> okay! You can play the game. But please don't mug the camera! Good grief! Alright! We got four players back Let's try this again. Sean Connery, pick a category. Okay. I'll I'll have a hard on for fifty points. <laughs> Why in the world would you put that up there? Well, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, dancing time. Ooh, check it out. Ooh, I can, I can do a little dance. Hey, hey, Vern, you watching this? I'm gonna do a dance. Okay, this Celebrity Jeopardy has been a mess. But at least Burt Reynolds wasn't here. Hi there, I'm uh, right here. And I like to be called Turd Ferguson. This is what I call myself up here. Forget it. I'm ending the game. Where are all the regular people at? Because all I've encountered are deceased celebrities. Excelsior! Here's my cameo, Stan Lee. You're in celebrity heaven. This is what celebrities go if they die. So any celebrities they have died in the previous from the years or even last year, they've ended up here. You name it, they're here. Huh. <sighs> Okay, well that explains a lot. Wait, does that mean, that means my mother isn't here? Well, she's famous by association, Trebek. So trust me, she is here. I know that for a fact. <laughs> my mom, Debbie Reynolds, is here too. I'm so glad. You will send me back to the Libby. I will see my son, or you're going to be Mr. Bats. I don't know why she is so persistent in getting out of heaven. But she can't get out of here and go back to the living. It's just not possible. Um, what's wrong? Why, why the suddenly silence? Should we tell him? Did something happen? Well, something did happen. You know, camera boys and what happened to him. Uh, yes, I, I know who that was. Now, he was pretty young when it happened to him. You see, when a person dies and they don't know when they died, they're just a by a pure blue spirit. For the past year, Cameron Cameron has been a spirit that God's been looking after. Hmm. But then in the late November but then in late November, the Latte just disappeared back to the living. And Naya Rivera and a handful of celebrities witnessed that. And ever since then, Naya has been obsessively trying to make her way back to the living. Just like little Cameron. Hmm. But you, you, well, you know, after hearing that, I, I, I want to be done. Don't we have to do a round where we draw our answers? Um. You know, I really don't want to because Earth the Kid is planning my demise, and I want to leave here before she comes back. Uh, by the way, th thank you, Sean, for making Miss. Kid angry. Don't be such a panzer. You know what? Fine. 
I, just write down movies that you all have been in and see how you guys have screwed it up. Okay, well, let's see how you did. David Bowie, you wrote Labyrinth? Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, that's correct, and you wagered nothing. Oh, come on, David Bowie, I wanted to give you the points. Very well, on to Jim Varley, who left to go mug for some more cameras. Okay, uh, uh, any, uh, now Gene Wilder is here. Let's see what you wrote. The Oopa Loopa song and your wager. Wait, you just continued the song. Fine. Carrie Fisher, let's see what you wrote. And, sh and should be easy. I won't say Star Wars or give George Lucas the, sat the satisfaction I was in movies then oh felt then Star Wars for God's sake I was in Blues Brothers in the 80s I did more than Star Wars oh but no it's like I'm just a social star for the rest of my life I was in Blues Brothers fine let's see what Mr. Connery wrote uh, yep, it's a picture of me in hell. Wonderful. Well, hey, if you're in hell, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> and this is the final Jeopardy, and thank God I'm done. We are never doing this again. Goodbye. Not so fast, Beck. Not inviting me, I can forgive. But not inviting a Special celebrity is so unforgivable. Come off, Robin. Uh, hi. Oh, it's Robin Williams. Oh man, am I happy to see you? But I'm not happy to see you because you, sir, didn't invite me and so many other celebrities. You think that I'm annoying? No, of course not. Oh, you put yourself in quite the pickle, Trebek. Sort of like that pickle jar that Mr. Tom Hanks got stuck in. <laughs> um, um, excuse me, excuse me. Um, you know, it's 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 okay not to be invited to things. I mean, it's you know, I I try not to. Shut up, Michael. Oh, oh okay. Okay, you and me, man, let's go. I'm not going to fight you. No, I mean, you and I are going to watch one of my old movies. Uh, which one? Robots. Robots. Oh, Ben Centennial Man. No, Robots from 2005. Ooh, I love that movie. I never heard of that movie. How could you have not heard of this movie? Jay Leno even makes a cameo in it. And I love it. And more of the reason we need to watch it. Okay. I'll watch with you. I'll watch it with you. I don't see any harm in watching it. But wait a minute. Is this leading into something? Coming up is robots! <laughs> Come away! Why do I get the feeling that some is doing what I do? Weird.
Randy B. Brown back again. And seeing as how the previous reaction kicked off our brand new year, as well as saying it's time to duel, we're going to look at a movie that's one of the requests from our viewers. So, let's dive in to Robots 2005. This is going to be good. Okay, that's not <laughs> CJ, what are you doing here? And are you feeling okay? You don't sound so well and you look kind of pale. I mean, is everything alright? I'm fine! Well, okay, I was in the middle of meeting Dr. Strange to figure out my amnesia so that the tsunami thing won't happen again. Then one of my lost boys told me you're going to back to Robots. Well, yes, and I'm really looking forward to it. You are not bashing Robin Williams. Oh, wait, what? I would never do that to Robin Williams. Then why are you acting to robots? What, are you going to call him a fast-talking douchebag like Blockbuster Monster? Robin Williams gave us such horrible moments that made people laugh and cry. But, but Blockbuster Buster... He just said those awful things about Robin. <laughs> whoa, whoa, CJ, calm down. Look, we don't, we didn't know exactly what Robin was going through at the at first, but he was struggling, and you're absolutely right. All of us should really be careful how we treat people, because you know, sometimes you just don't know what people are going through and. You really should be kind to them. Look, look, CJ, I promise you, I wasn't going to say anything bad about this movie. I really like this film. You like this film? Of course I do. I saw it in theaters with Dash Tail and Billy when it came out. And it was really enjoyable and funny. Even they liked it. So you're not going to make fun of Robin? No way! I'd never do that! Robin Williams is one of my favorite comedies! Some of the films I love. Some of the films I loved him in was in Aladdin when he played the genie, he was Popeye the Sailor Man, and also in Flubber. And, you know, one day I might even take a look at Mrs. Doubtfire, because, you know, from what I read about it, it sounds like a comedic yet heartwarming movie based on its plot. You really need of course I do. And to prove it to you, CJ, how about we react to this movie together? Alright, let's do this. Well, this is Robots. And, wait, by the way, you sure you don't want to take anything? Like, you know, I got some Dayquil or some Tylenol. This might kind of help a little bit there. Oh boy, I bet this is what Gabe is gonna be like when when they when Queen Tina becomes pregnant in the future. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I can't wait to be an ant. <laughs> oh, that'll be exciting. <laughs> I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You missed the delivery. But it's okay. Making the baby's the fun part. Mmm, sure. Uh, should I use a must be a Bob show? Actually, this joke was completely unintentional. They knew exactly what, what they were doing with this joke. Hmm. Okay, that's a fair point. What's that extra piece? Oh, oh no, they always put in an extra. <laughs> We did want a boy, right? 
<clears throat> this won't hurt a bit, son. What? I forgot about this joke. Next scene? Yeah, yeah, next scene. $50. Alright, here's Robin Williams and Ben. Are you going to be totally honest? Let's go. I think that it's a very good one. Robin Williams and Ben. I'm in the army. Which Robin Williams was actually known to do. But back in Aladdin, for his role as the genie, he provided hours of improv of improvised lines that didn't make it to the final cut, but they were animated. But they animated those lines to pay a little tribute to him. You can look up the genie's cut lines on YouTube, and it's very funny. Also, in Goodwill Hunting. Robin Williams did a completely improv scene which actually made Matt Damon laugh and they left it in because it was a genuine scene. Robin just wanted to bring some heart to his comedy and it felt genuine by letting Robin do whatever he wanted for his role and not being restricted in any way possible. This became a really fun film. And you can probably pinpoint the ad lib lines. Uh. CJ? Uh, what's wrong? I have a feeling that we're not the only ones reacting to this movie. Weird. Hmm. Meanwhile, in celebrity heaven! <laughs> okay. We're 12 minutes into the film, and I haven't seen Robin Williams make any appearances yet. I thought you said you starred in this film. I did. I starred in the film as Fender. But you're not even the main character. I mean, we could have watched a film where you're the main character. If, or, I mean, we could be watching Mrs. Doubtfire, or who? Huh? Or if you really wanted to punish me, we could be watching Flubber. You think that just because he's not the main character, he can't steal the show? And what's wrong with Flubber? I love that movie! Well, it's not exactly Robin's best movie. How dare you say that about Robin Williams! It's alright, Arthur. I wanted to show to Beck an underrated film I was in. Well, how about we shut up and watch the rest of the film? I want no more talking! Somewhere over the rainbow... Shut up, Judy! And watch the movie with us! Back with Brownie and CJ! <laughs> I think we should continue the film. Yeah, good idea. It's ever supposed to be. Okay, what do you want? So, this is mocking, a mocking of Disney, or more importantly, Mickey Mouse. So no one trolls, or so no one trolls and makes fun of Disney through mainstream media, movies like how DreamWorks did it. Are you kidding? As long as Disney is buying up everything that exists, I'll be here to troll them. Should I even ask what movie productions you trolled? Kristen Chenoweth, and now she won't leave me alone. You give her one box line to say, and she thinks you're a BFF. What? Oh no! CJ, are you the reason for Kristen Chenoweth shouting, I'm back! Yes. CJ! But I'm a 
Oh my gosh. Wait, what's wrong with Halle Berry? I liked her in the Catwoman movie. And even Bombshaw gave it a good review. And you know, it's probably because she was the cat's meow. Oh, wow. If Earth and Kid was alive, oh, she would be hunting down and turn you into a flea. What? Back in heaven again. <laughs> it's Highland Berry. Oh, no, the back. Judy, cover your ears. Oh, the it's going to blow! Everybody get down! Dr. Kama! We can... Wait, is she going to blow her top, Major Lee? <laughs> that a wannabe cat woman! Insult me even after death! I am the cat woman! Me! Me! At the kit! The real cat meow! Not you! You will never be cat woman! Especially with that horrible writing and Barry's opening narration just sounded so emotionless. She's like, like she talks about the night I die. And there's no emotion in her voice. And she has the same emotionless voice in this movie compared to everyone else. Oh, and you will pay for that atrocious Catwoman movie. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn you into a flea. A tiny little flea. And then I'll put that flea in a box. And then I'll put that box in the box. And I'll make that box to be said. And when it arrives, <laughs> I smash it with the hammer. It's brilliant, 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 I say. Genius. Okay. So do you feel now better now, Eartha, since you, you know, let all that out? Actually, yes. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> you know, it would be better if you treated your fellow Catwoman actress with kindness and understanding and maybe a little bit- SHUT UP, CRUNK! Um, no one is there. Oh, oh, no, don't worry about it. She's a little crazy. Sort of like the time I lost to the rug. Your move. That's a good move. I can't believe it. I'm losing to the rug. <coughs> now we return to CJ and Brownie. <laughs> I'm loving this. It's fun. The day is mine. <laughs> Seriously, I keep getting the feeling someone else is reacting to this movie with us. I can't shake that feeling off. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, gonna admit that was a funny line. <laughs> okay, okay. For real, we all had some like Aunt Fan in your eyes who took us in and gave us a place to stay when you ran away from home. Well, I haven't, but I can see you having someone like that. Did someone take you in at one point? Ah, that's nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. You never told me you had a sister. I thought you and I thought Harry was your only sibling. Well, wow, but she's your she's your family, and probably misses you dearly. Don't you think that you should let your sister know that you're alive? I mean, aren't you homesick not seeing your family? She's an alcoholic with an explosive anger problem. I don't need someone like that in my life, okay? Well, I mean, it just seems like you're running away from your problems. Can we get Okay, okay. Just trying to help. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> a man voicing a woman. 
like that could happen to me. Oh, wait a minute. Where did you get that dress? Oh, don't worry. Judy can sing about it. Somewhere over the... We're watching a movie! No singing! Can I play it now? Yeah, play it. Ta da! <laughs> and. You know, I pointed this out in my so, first live action Scooby Doo movie. movie. When you are in a disguise, <laughs> don't draw attention to yourself. Very important. Okay, okay, calm down. You were insulting Robin. No, I wasn't. I promise, CJ. Jeez, why are you so overprotective of Robin Williams? I met Robin Williams, you know. Wait, you, you really did? You, you really met Robin Williams? Heartwarming, CJ. However, a few months later, I came back to visit Rome, only to find out what happened to him. I was devastated. It felt like I lost an old friend. I'm really sorry, kiddo. I really am. I'm really sorry, CJ. I I wish there was something I could do to. Make you feel better. I need to take a break. Do you mind using your computer and order pizza too? I think I have this like your uh, the grown ass man's credit card that works so. Um, yeah, sure. And if you need anything else, just let me know, okay? Thanks, Brownie. Well, CJ's been pretty quiet for a while. Guess I uh, better go check on her. CJ? CJ? Did she leave? Wonder what she was looking up. What was CJ doing looking up Daddy Derek and... Wait, what's this? Meanwhile, thousands of miles away! <laughs> I'm Dirty Dog! And I'm the baddest there is! I say I'm Dirty Dog! And I'm a mean whiz! To the W-I-C! I'm Dirty Dog! And you know that's right! Wait! Wait a minute! Wait a- I smell Cool Cat! And I hate Cool Cat! Stop right there, Dirty Dog! You've been really mean! And that's a major no-no! CJ! <laughs> These no good punks. This is ignorance of the law. Um, dear, can I call the police? No, darling. They'll just escape by the time the police show up. I'm gonna take care of this real quick. Please be careful. Aw, oh, don't you worry about a thing, you fine looking giddy cat, you. Hush up! Wait, 
Why do I keep saying that? Something's not right here. <laughs> no, I'm not. Why people make fun of this guy? He says it does the stupidest thing. <laughs> uh, Sabrina, I don't think this is a good idea. All right, um, CJ, but I don't think this is a good idea. Daddy Derek may be a bad filmmaker, but he's also kind of a madman, and he's done some pretty fun, some pretty unfair things to the people who criticize his films. We need to leave before he gets his hands on us. Fine, I'm for it anyway. Okay, kid, let's go home. Well, well, well. It would look it would look like you can take me to anywhere through that portal of yours. That means you can take me to any reviewers' houses. So I can make them pay for what they said about me and my movie. Our first our first stop will be Bob Shaw the reviewer. Oh shit. Okay. I admit that this was a pretty fun movie. Despite all the adult jokes, I found myself having a good time with you guys. I really did. I told you you'd have a fun time, boy. You see, Tablek, this is why you should have watched the movie the first time around. You missed out on a fun time. The first go around. Hmm. Okay, okay. Well, since I'm no longer doing Celebrity Jeopardy, God forbid, we can wa why don't we watch the movies that I missed out on? Sound good to everybody? Agreed to Beck! <laughs> hey, we can even watch the Hailey Berry movies! <laughs> oh, Robin, you kidder! <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. I missed you very much, Robin. It's really good to see you again. Oh, come here, man! Ju Judy, join in on the hug. Give me the love. Get in this big group hug. Group hug. Ooh. Say, you mind if I, anyone mind if I kiss the monkey? Ooh, hairball. Ah. I guess we can say we never had a friend like you, Robin. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Why do I get the feeling that while everyone is happy up here, that somewhere, there's trouble? Yes, I can feel it too. Hmm, I kind of feel it a little myself. Wait a minute, is this another lead into something? Four months ago, back in 2005. <laughs> Ooh. It gives me chills. Stop, stop, stop. What, what are you doing? You're in... You, you, wait, that's the line you're going with? Um, I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm Calisti J. I'm a producer on In Robots. Um, okay, so... Wait, what are you do so what are you doing here right now? They called me in to deal with you. Uh, I got complaints from the assistant director that you weren't giving any effort in your performance at all. All the other actors are giving their damnness in their performance and yet your lack. I'm here to fix that. Um, okay. And her nobody t and her nobody tell me that, but okay. Well, what do you want me to do? Like, you have like, like, like a moat from your voice. You're uneasy about rat shit. You just, you don't trust him. Like, like you need to be a little more sarcastic about it. That's what we wrote for you in the notes. Have you read our notes, Holly? Yeah, I read. That's, 
uh, technically, yeah, I am uneasy about the guy. Right, but you don't emote that through your voice. He's supposed to be dry and sarcastic. He's supposed to, like, you know, be like Vigo, but, you know, try to, like, put emotion in her voice and at least try to have fun in her role, but you sound like you're just bored. All right, let's, all right, let's do this. All right, let's get this, uh, uh, um... Oh, it gives me chills. No, no. Look, you were in a kid's film before this, right? Um, yeah, the Flintstones. All right, the adultery scene you're in. Right, I'm never going to let you forget that doing that scene, by the way. Uh, huh, nobody ever does. <laughs> Uh, no, Robin Williams, Jay Leno, and um, be what? Okay, let me stop you right now. You said Robin Williams. You are aware Robin Williams is in this film, right? Right. Okay, you should give your effort in all in this film because Robin Williams is going to be watching it. Do you want to be bland in this film, knowing that Robin Williams is going to watch your performance? Do you want to disappoint the guy? Well, no. Then give your damn performance or we'll, or we'll place you immediately. Alright, fine. I'll go, okay, I'll do it again for you. <sighs> oh. It gives me chills. Yeah, now I can replace you with Ursa Kit, right? I want to make that clear. I have her on standby right now. <laughs> Yo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come back here! I'm the real cat woman! You better get faster! I'm gonna be the cat woman, not you! Definitely a story for the ages! <laughs> okay, usually when we leave on a cliffhanger, we do previews on Brown, D Brown, but I have to do a disclaimer because in this video, this movie breaks me at the end, just like how the live action Scooby Doo broke Brownie. This is mostly due to the fact that maybe this might have scarred my writer and voice actor when she was two. There were su there were suppressed memories, and when she watched the movie again for the reaction with a family member, they were horrified during the film and it screamed at certain parts. It wasn't an easy film to sit through again, and certain moments your jaw will drop. But since Brownie likes to look at the positives, we'll definitely acknowledge Bo Welsh and his colorful set designs. I mean, this guy did Men in Black, after all. Also, I know reviewers joke about Superman movies can be used to torture a prisoner without physically harming them, but mentally harming them. Well, this joke becomes a plot point throughout the whole reaction. No, this doesn't have to, to Brownie, well... It kind of does. This happens more to me because I'm tied up through this entire thing. Also, last thing I want to mention in this. In the video, you might notice that I'm a little more angry and have a lot of moments of outbreak. It might have come across as acting out character. You see, I have a mood disorder like my or This is what people had theorized. And as I mentioned briefly in my first appearance in Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase, 
and not taking prescribed mood meds. You see, if I haven't taken my mood meds in the past 24 hours, my mood becomes sporadic and I'm a lot more irritable. Okay, with, with that all said, previously on Brown to Brown Reaction. <laughs> That's what I think about robots. Uh, yep, definitely uh, check it out for yourself. And I'm Brownie B. Brown. And wait, what in the world? Well, well, CJ here has told me a lot about you and your little reaction to my movies. CJ, what, what, what happened? Oh, don't worry about that, my little doggy friend. As of right now, you're going to get me a deal with Universal. You're going to react to their cat in the hat. No, 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 no! Now presenting the cat in the hat. 2003, starring Mike Myers. <laughs> Connery! Now for what happens. Actually, can we please watch something else? Please? I think the Amish were really want to see Brian react to Jim Carrey's a great. At least, this would be so much better to look at. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I can't prolong this anymore. Here's what happens next. Just get on, get on with the opening scene. Brownie, I'm back from bingo. I sure hope you're in the mood for some ham soup. Because I just have a major craving for some. By the way, I've been talking to a very special guy on the dating app that CJ signed me up on. And he's really wise and jolly, sweetheart. I can't wait for our first date this Valentine's Day. Brownie? Brownie? Alright, Brownie and CJ. Welcome to my special and secret cool cat fun house. I'll make yourselves at home. Well, you should have thought of that before you and your punk friends threw those rocks at my car, little girl. Look, can't I at least react to something else from Universal for your endorsement deal? No, I want a reaction to their Cat in the Hat movie. And besides, I thought a famous reactor like you would be totally into this. I keep telling you, I haven't become a famous reactor yet. I'm just doing this to point out the good and different movies and perhaps maybe at some point, you know, get some new comic series for people to get into. Well, CJ here told me you're a famous reactor. What? Uh, you're welcome? Brownie! CJ! I bet that's Fujimoto in disguise. Well, I'm gonna let him take you like he almost did to Sasuke and his mother and the rest of the world. I'm coming to save you two from that madman! Back at the special and secret Cool Cat Fun House! <laughs> of course it won't be so secret for long! <laughs> Okay, let me make this very clear for you, Daddy Bear. You listening? Listen good. Despite what my troll told you, I'm not famous yet. So I can't help you in getting any endorsement deals. Heck, I'm still trying to work on getting the 4K public watch hours for monetization. Along with some Patreon pledgers and... 
Oh, and by the way, speaking of Patreon, make sure y'all become a Patreon pledger, those of y'all who are watching and everything and can. Uh, this will really help us out, you know, support the channel and everything, and pop, and also be able to do bigger projects in the future. So, yeah, definitely sign up on Patreon after giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. Well, I see a lot of potential in a plush toy reacting to mainstream movies and stuff. I mean, you're probably the inspiration for that Barker dog fellow, so it could become the next big thing. Oh, wow, I, I feel kind of flattered, you know, and well, I'll definitely have to check him out and, you know, see what his reviews are like. Oh, they're fantastic. Oh, well, maybe we could do like a crossover or something and, <laughs> oh, 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 you're focus. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Killjoy. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I looked up the man behind illustrating those comic books of, that you mentioned. Gabriel King Gabe Johnson, and you know, who also wrote some of them as well. Pretty impressive. Now, just imagine Universal making Cool Cat a feature link film on the big screen with an enormous budget and Cool Cat being played by Mike Myers. <laughs> And maybe Teddy Levito to play Dirty Dog. Uh, you know, he's a pretty good actor and everything for villains and stuff. <laughs> well, this could be the reaction that starts it all. And I'll even get you and King Gabe a chance to get a deal. As they went to make those comics into a movie franchise. Or maybe possibly with a tie-in TV series. Like, you know, what the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been doing. As they, especially with that WandaVision. You know, I heard a lot of stuff about that. <laughs> And you really think reacting to Mike Myers' Cat in the Hat, the most hated Dr. Seuss adaptation, is gonna get you a movie deal with Universal? Brilliant plan, right? Yeah, I was just making sure. <laughs> but before we do anything, let me talk to my troll alone, please. Oh, all right, but no one tying her. Yeah, yeah, and please, Daddy Derek, could you turn that music off for right now? I know I mentioned in my review that it's a guilty pleasure for me, but right now, I really don't want to hear the cool cat right now, okay? Oh, fine. Double kill, Joy. Hurry up in there! Okay. We got a few minutes, CJ. Start explaining what happened and why on earth did you go to Daddy Derek? Okay, okay. But don't be mad. I had a good reason why I trolled him. I'm very afraid to ask why, but what did you do and to troll him and why? Okay. After I shared with you about Robin Williams, I need something to lift my spirits a bit. So I looked through your channel at some of your old videos you did and found your reaction to the interview with Cool Cats for first original actor, Jason Johnson along with some other videos pertaining to Daddy Derek. I found out how his Cool Cat movies were not that good, which was pointed out by Your Movie Sucks, I Eat Everything, and even Bob Shulk, along with you and several other reviewers. I also learned how at first Daddy Derek befriended Your Movie Sucks, but made copyright strikes against other reviewers, causing their videos to get taken down and almost deleted. He even scared I hate everything by pretending to be a lawyer. I mean, I know I pretend to be other professions like a pilot, but damn, that's actually illegal. And somehow he's still getting people to support more of these awful projects of his. So I decided to teach him a lesson by wrecking his stuff. Because a guy like that shouldn't be continuing to excel with with this kind of background. So he doesn't deserve a fancy car. He deserves a rock in that fancy car. 
Hmm. Also, I work this motorcycle too. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I kind of see your point there, CJ. And yes, I'm. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I have to kind of agree with you on that. But there's one little problem. Didn't you think that someone that unstable isn't the kind of person that, that you need to be trolling because he might put you in danger like this? Look, this is what trolls like me from the 1930s do. We bravely take risks like this all the time. You know, I used to troll Maleficent and all the other Disney villains. Hell, I even trolled Yzma. But, you know, nowadays, most people in your time period would be too scared to do something like this. They have no guts whatsoever. <clears throat> well, maybe it's because we don't want to get ourselves in situations like this where our life could possibly be on the line. Seriously, CJ, being brave doesn't mean you go looking for trouble. Oh, save it, Mr. Lion King. Don't stop trying to quote other movies. Well, it's a true fact that could have prevented you from ending up like this and me along with you. Well, I didn't know Daddy Derek would go this far. I'm a very pro slash pirate slash thief slash pi pilot slash bar and bella and other things I'm not going to mention here. But I'm not a damn psychic like Professor X or the face to hang out with Hades. Well, that's all the more reason you should have thought about your actions before you just up and went! I didn't have time for all that! I'm a, I'm a busy planner! Trolls don't have time to wait, think about their decisions. They just do. Well, maybe you should make some time! Who do you think you are? My dad or something? I'm 14. I am basically an adult. No. I mean, I'm not your dad or anything like that. But you know what I am? I'm someone who cares about you and doesn't want you to get killed! Wait, what? Okay, you two. Enough of the little cheaty chat and all that break. Now, let's get started with... I won't let you take them away, you devil! No! Oh! Oh! Hey! hey come on, lady! Stop! No! no please! Hey, 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 oh, please stop! Lady, stop! You really care about me, Brownie? Of course I do. But what about the trouble I caused you? I was a nemesis, like Sean Bateman is the Bob joke. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you do cause quite a bit of trouble, yes. But, at the same time, you seem to have more to you. Like at our Christmas dinner, and, and the fact of how much you really care for Robin Williams. I mean, you're real, you seem real passionate, you know, about what you said about the guy and everything. And that really shows me that you have, you, know, you have a lot of heart in you, despite what, you know, despite what you do at times. Does that mean we're friends? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, you do care, Brownie. Thank you. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, you're such a cute little plush toy. Alright, he's down. So, are we ready to bail? Yes! <laughs> Not so fast. Now, Brownie. You're reacting to this movie, or else CJ will, as that jazz fellow in that Mugio movie you reacted to said, Go bye bye, Jazz Minston style. It's Jazz Princeton from Yu Gi Oh, you idiot! The point is, he's trying to send me to heaven! So, what's it gonna be? The movie, or CJ? Fine. I'll react to the cat in the hat. Starring Mike Myers! I'm so excited! You're crazy! Well, if mad, you're... Mad, mad, mad! You're crazier than Maleficent! Well, technically, I go more for crazy excited about the movie. <laughs> fun, the fun, the fun! Look at me! Fun, the fun, the fun! Look at me! <laughs> 
on the phone. Don't be touching me in my no no square. Well, no, he's got my own head stop! Oh, no, no, he's just lying! Stop beating me! Stop! <laughs> I will say that all this is a pretty beautiful in this opening. Yeah, really good sets and everything. Yeah, Bo was a really good set design. He's done a lot of Tim Burton movie sets like Beetlejuice, for example, and even Men in Black. <laughs> Men in Black? Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones? That Men in Black? Yeah, you like Men in Black? Yes, I do! That movie was awesome! Well, this is a great start already. I know I'm in good hands. Like all state insurance. At all state stands, you're in good hands. Don't get too excited. If a woman was dating my father and he heard her he had heard her talk about sending me to military school. He would make her walk the plank, no questions asked. Okay, okay, stop, stop right there. Why would they put this in the film? Why would they do this to this actress? I'm from the 1930s and even I find this offensive. Yes, it is very offensive. And I believe this might have inspired the racial stereotypes that we would later see in Michael Bay's Transformer movies, God forbid. Okay, as bad as this scene is, they could have at least gave us a few minutes to see hints of what's causing the mother and her children to be this way. You know, maybe like a photograph of the, of the boy's father. You know, maybe like a moment where he's... Uh, looking at his father's picture, something like that. May don't have to exactly be dialogue, but just give us some kind of hint. My mom and I have argued a lot and might have said something like this before, breaking down in tears. I might have, I regretted saying it to her, but she would comfort me regardless because she know I didn't mean it. Yep, that's exactly the right thing to do. And they call me crazy. Already. It's just a cat in the hat. Look at that thing, you damn lunatic. Look at it. It's horrifying. Horrifying. No, CJ. It's far worse than that. It's clearly the devil. Possibly Mephisto from the Marvel Comics in disguise. Devil. You devil. No, no, devil. Stop. Stop. No, please stop. No, I'm not the devil. Please stop doing that. Well, hang on, CJ. Let me get you untie you. No, CJ, you gotta stop moving your ah, I gotta. I, I can't untie you. Oh, oh, CJ, will you stop? Stop moving your ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh, this is just fantastic. You know, I never thought I would be tied up with a plush toy in my arms. After mm -hmm. you're kind of comfy. Like a little pill. Well, at least that's a bit of a compliment to get me through this. <laughs> now, hopefully, 
This can prevent y'all from getting so dram over dramatic, along with a nice serving of beef ramen from Miss Toki. Oh, can you make mine extra spicy? I sure appreciate that, ma'am. Of course. Anything you want, Sonny. <laughs> Fantastic. It's so nice when you're not trying to beat me up and all. Oh, I'll give you spicy, all right. With a lot of these ghost peppers. Like in Scooby-Doo Zombie Island. I'll make it spicier than hell itself. Ha 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 ha! Well, I guess we have no choice, CJ. This is a nightmare. Look at the furry Mike Myers. I'm looking. I'm a cat that can talk. That should be enough for you people. That's probably what he said to disrespect Bo Welch and the and the people involved in this film. I have a theory that uh, the cat's dialogue was supposed to be all in rhyme. But, you know, Mike Myers probably said, screw that, I'm going to do this improvised shit. It just went off the rails with his performance than that was originally written for him. But that's just what I think. I think this, like, the dialogue he just said right now wasn't even in the script. I'm calling it. I wouldn't be surprised. How do I put this? When a mommy cat and a daddy cat love each other very much, they decide that Oh, I remember when I told Cool Cat about the birds and bees. He was a little nervous at first, you know, but you know how that is. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, come on. Every kid hears about the birds and the bees at some point in their life. story of impregnating my mother every winter solstice. That's disgusting. It was beautiful. Earthers have hang-ups. Well, my dad did it with a fairy, but they never went into detail about it. He didn't even think it was even possible of having sex with a fairy and getting her pregnant. Nice bread you got here. Humana, 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 humana. Who is this? <laughs> He's so funny! <laughs> this is getting more disturbing. Seriously, what kind of cat is on a mama? Oh, wait. Daddy Derek gets a mama cat. Never mind. Remember the Seems kind of late to introduce this character. Similar to Anubis. Well, he was in the book. Well, shouldn't he have been introduced earlier in the film? Case in point. A Robin? Ta da! Perry the Robin! Oh, that's a cute little Robin. Oh! Oh, picky, isn't he? No, he just knows that, that his master's being held against her will. And he doesn't like you. Oh, so your pet's a wisecracker like you. And he's adorable like me. Well, he's not better than Cool Cat. Oh! Well, he disagrees. Birds are better than cats. Ow! Oh my god, it's sexy Shaggy all over again! The cat has moved! I repeat, the cat has moved! Someone call 's worse to come isn't there I think these children are smart enough not to fall your end and this is why the alcohol was invented thank you tequila hey stop that little girl you're too young to be drinking oh buy me this this is driving me crazy and the cat just sang us a villain song they got it more <laughs> And the kids are now signing their souls to the devil. Next on Mephisto's list, he'll get Nicolas Cage to become Ghost Rider.
and he'll be scraping at the door. Scraping at the door. Ta da! Okay, how many times are y'all gonna do that? Must be a bombshell thing that's getting really annoying. As many times as they keep doing this. I'm excited too! <laughs> oh dear god! There's three of them! Safety tequila! Enough of that already! You can't tell me when I had enough! I'll tell you when I had enough, you bastard! <laughs> oh god, I become my sister! Well, that's what this movie makes me want to say! You watch your mouth, little lady! This is the guy who freaking kidnapped me! You want your mouth! And tell that movie too! Ah! Did Mars says that his sex with Jack Nichols is Joker? This is horrifying, huh? Ah! Honey, you'll never believe what happened to me. He's from another dimension like you, CJ? But not this Philippine. Look. No! No, 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 no! He does not do what I do! No, I travel across vast of multiple dimensions! He does not do what I do! Oh, just because he's in the real world like I am? No, he does not! He is not me! He is not me! Oh, God, I need to kill him. Looking, no touchy. Got it? So, apparently, stripper rolls. <laughs> yep, must be a box joke. Ta da! Murder. Murderer! No, Simba, please. Since when... Since when was, like, murder in a Dr. Seuss books? Ever! Dirty ho. I'm sorry, baby, I love Ta-da! Why was this a Dr. Seuss movie? Why? Oh my god! Ah, this is horrible! Good! I think we are overloading the must be a fob show. It's starting to short circuit on this. It just gets worse and worse. No, quick to the slow. Really? You had to go the Simpsons route? Simpsons did it! Simpsons did it! Well, they got one thing right about this movie. It is shit. Someone else should drive! Let the 12 year old drive! I'll, can, I'll drive. No. But I know how. No. Yeah, I let Tuna drive once during the escape chase. Never let a 6 year old drive. Ever. Christina cameoed in this? Oh my god, and she's in the scene with Alec Baldwin. I wonder what I wonder what she thought of him. Honey, you didn't tell me that you that you starred in the cat in the hat with Alec Baldwin? Yes, and it's one of the things back in LA that I'm completely not proud of. That I just wanted it erased forever in my past. Forever. Hmm. Thank you, Baldwin. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. I'd like you to sign my petition. Yeah. Oh, that's hideous! Hey, you hippie freak. Are you oh aware my god, why would they put a hippie, hippie cat in a Dr. Seuss film? Seriously, I'm from the 1930s again, and I even know hippies in the 1930s. Don't ask. Pen that requires... oh. This woman had a sex tape. She's in a kid's film. <laughs> well, it serves you right, young lady. Trespassing and vandalism on my property, and then doing drugs and underage drinking. Wait, drugs? What are you talking about, Daddy Derek? She had illegal drugs on her, so I took them away. Because ignorance of the law is wrong. Uh-huh. It was her prescribed medication for her mood disorder. It says so on the bottle, you big dummy! Oh, make it stop! Make it stop! Someone call my daddy! Oh, my God! 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 Oh, my God!
that so I can make Daddy Derek walk the plate. Go, my brother. Go, Uma. Help. Go, my drunken sister. For God's sake, just get me out of here so I don't have to watch for yourself in a kid's movie. <laughs> Your spicy beef ramen is ready, Derek. Oh, great. I'm sure hungry for it. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's pretty good, though. <laughs> great timing, Toki. Because we got to get CJ out of here. Or she's not going to make it. Stop, call my dad. Call my dad. <laughs> make it stop. Brownie, help. Me. I'm tied to a flashlight. This is the lowest moment of my life. Leave it to me. Before I serve Derek's ramen to him, I'm looking for another escape room, and I spotted a soundproof room. I'll take CJ there to calm her down in order to figure out how to get us out while you keep him busy with the movie. Okay, but be careful. Okay, I will. You be my guest. Universal Studios! <laughs> well, that sounds great. And you know what's greater? My Cool Cat Funko Pops. They're available right now, only a dollar each. My God, you can afford that. And while you're ready, don't forget to buy some Cool Cat t-shirts, hats, books, and your own copy of the Cool Kid, Cool Cat Kid Superhero. Available now. <laughs> Would you knock it off? Sheaf, I already have a fourth wall breaker! And where is Sheaf right now? She needed to recover from her current trauma due to you taking away her medication, so let's just finish the movie and get this over with. Fine, but I'm watching you, little pup. Oh, I'm sure you will. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this. I can't take it anymore. Don't worry. Oh, God. Don't worry. I'm sure we can figure out a plan. Since we're alone and away. We're alone? Yes. We're alone? Yes, we are. Yes. Oh my god, why didn't you think of this before? I have an idea. Thank you, emergency phone. Meanwhile, at the Premier Theater. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> Are you okay? I am for now, but I need someone to stop Helen. I need her help. I told her I was kidnapped, but she took off before I could give her the address. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can get it to her. Uh, where are you? Okay, before you go, I'm sending you a horn to, to call my brother and his girlfriend. Tell him what happened. Meet with Helen. Call the cops and get to Brownie's house where the, where the por portal to Daddy their secret house Okay. Alright, hurry, because I feel very sleepy. Tell my brother that I'm okay, just come soon. Okay, good night, Josh. Hey, cool horn. I wanna blow it. Oh, wait, Drake! <laughs> oh, sweet! So, what's going on with you, Josh? Ooh, hello, baby.
say, is your name Kiki? Cause I gotta ask, why Kiki haven't you crashed into my heart sooner? Seriously? This isn't a good idea! Oh, you're right, you're right. I'll try something else. Whoa, whoa! What's the problem, buddy? <laughs> yeah, that would be his girlfriend. <gasps> wait, girlfriend? Wait, why did you say something? <laughs> I did say something! Well, you didn't say anything! Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, <laughs> let me tell you, buddy, uh, you are one lucky guy. Because your woman is hot! <laughs> Don't worry, Harry, my love. I only have eyes for you. Oh, and I also have eyes only for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't mean to interrupt you guys, but uh, your sister's in danger. Help! Furry Mike Myers is after me! Furry Mike Myers is after me! Well, if that's the way you feel about it, come here. Say goodbye to CJ. No! That's for kidnapping my baby girl, CJ. You mess with her, you mess with Helen. Wait, is that my door? Yeah, and I put it to good use. We were supposed to wait for the cops. We let any longer, you might not have a sister. Helen, Harry, Uma, thank goodness. He touched me in my no-no square. Then he will die. Whoa, 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 Harry, Harry, no, no! Let the police do their job, because if you kill him, you'll be arrested and unable to protect CJ. You want that to happen? Fine. <clears throat> you have a good point. Another day, my darling? I suppose so. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. You can't do this to me. Oh, oh, how about some of my Cool Cat merch? You know, own the house. Uh, I got t-shirts, Funko Pops, hats, hoodies, and the latest Cool Cat DVD superhero. I've been forcing that time pulling. You know, your kids would love it. Come on now, please. <laughs> Mike Myers' cat is going to get me. Don't let him get me, Uma. He's the devil. Dare. Dare, CJ. He's not going to get you. We won't let him get you. And if he tries to, I'll stab his heart along with Daddy Derek. Why wait? Because I didn't promise Brownie any. Oh, how you doing, ma'am? Oh! Helen, seriously? Just call my boys. They'll bail me out. Oh, come on, y'all. You know, I can you know. You know, things weren't exactly as bad as you think they were. If you just let me go, you know, like, I'm pretty sure we could clear this whole thing up. Oh, wait a minute. Where are we? What's... Just, just, uh, what's going on here? Me! Oh, I look beautiful in this mirror. Don't you think, crazy man? What... Y'all look way too young to be cops. What's going on? This is ignorance of the law. Our boss wants to see you, sir. Your boss? What? Get out of the car, Daddy Derek. We have a lot to talk about. Hello, this is Premier Theater. How may I help you? Hey, Drake, baby. How are you? <laughs> Doing fine. How about you, Helen? Everything go good with the rescue mission? Oh yeah, everything went great. Listen, I I'm in action in jail right now because I beat Daddy Derek with a door in front of the cop. Um I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to bail me out. That will be no problem, Helen. You know we always here for you. <laughs> oh good, because 
the bail is like five hundred dollars. Won't be a problem. <laughs> we'll be right on it. Oh, oh, uh, Josh, we're gonna need uh five hundred dollars to bail Helen now. She, she beat Daddy Derek in front of the cops. What? Again? <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, so um, five hundred dollars. Why do I always end up having to go in my savings for that? Okay, why don't you good for it? Well, maybe why would you be good for it sometime? Wait. You're gonna owe me big time! Emily, uh, since we're boyfriend and girlfriend now, uh, before we close out, um, would you be interested in a belated Valentine's date? Of course, Brownie. I really love that. Don't mean to eavesdrop. But would you be interested in a double dating with me and my date? Well, I don't see why not. So, who is your date? That would be me, everyone. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! You're dating the an acting legend who also voiced Mufasa? Ooh. What a name. Mufasa. Ooh. Mufasa, 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 Mufasa! <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> You're crazy, man, you know that? Well, what can I say except you're welcome, as CJ would say. <laughs> so does that mean CJ hooked y'all up? Yeah. All on the dating app she had on her phone. Shall we go? You mean... Us go with you and him and CJ and, and, and Mufasa and CNN and Darth Vader and uh, oh. Well, my knight in shiny armor, I take I take it as a yes for both of us. Before we go, would you like to close us out, sir? My pleasure. James Earl Jones with Toki and Emily Landego on Brownie B. Brown Reacts to. And have a belated, very belated, since we're in the month of March, Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> of course, you can make any day Valentine's Day if you think about it. And? Oh, looks like I got a Zoom call. Hey, Brownie. Hey, Bob Show. What's going on? I've got some terrible news. I just found out from this video that Daddy Derek got out of jail, and there's something else. Hi everybody, I'm Derek Savage, and I got something cool to tell all you cool cats, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, now, I, I know I did have a little trouble with the law earlier, you know. Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit went down with that incident there, but, you know, that's all in the past now. But I, cause I got bailed out by a very special someone, and that's not all. This very special person has got me a deal with one of Brother Studios, y'all. Can you believe that? What? So I'm announcing my new movie, Cool Cat Helps the Soul Boy, a fun movie about the spirit of a young boy stuck in his character that he plays. And, you know, he seeks out Cool Cat to help him adjust uh, his way, adjust his way through his new life. Uh, she, uh, she tells me that like, it's going to be based off of a true story, so I'm very excited to get started on that movie. My new pro producer insisted, persisted, that I make this movie. And you know what? Hey, I'm, hey, I definitely don't want to disappoint, you know, after all the work she went through to get me out and everything. So, hey, it's the least I can do. So, I agree. And she gave me the deal with Warner Brothers. I'm still, I'm still just so stoked over this. I'm, it's just so exciting. So, if you're all going to be seeing this movie in September of 2021. Again, that's September 2021. Y'all be looking forward to that. Uh, cool cat love ya. Yeah! This is going to be horrible. I, I, I know, but how could this have happened? I mean, who, who would do this? I ask you. Who? 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 Who indeed, Brownie? Who would want to see you suffer? Who released Daddy Dare to continue his horrible filmmaking? 
it'll be the question that will keep you, Bob Schultz, and all the critics up all night long. Oh my god! We all know that you caused this mal. Jay, this is supposed to be a mystery! Mystery, my ass! For crying out loud, you're stoking Diablo! And you're the only one who obsesses over making Brownie miserable! And you're the only one crazy enough to monologue about it and get Daddy Derek his endorsement deal with Warner Brothers! Okay, I get it. I'm not subtle. Let's just tease the next reaction, okay? What, a bad Warner Brothers movie? No, not yet, you idiot. We're close to one more reaction. Towards the big season finale that Brownie B. Brown reacts to. I'll let the next scene play. In the meantime, I'm going to play It's Been Agatha all along, but with my name in it. Who's been messing up everything? It's been Mal all along. Dee dee dee. Meanwhile, Harry and Uma pick up CJ from her meeting with Doctor Strange. Ha 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 ha! I told you, Harry, I don't need babysitting. I'm an ageless 14 year old girl. Really? Not even if I picked up your favorite movie, lass. You mean? Muppet Treasure Island, just for you. Harry, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Did I ever tell you you're my favorite sibling? We figure we give you that to react to with Brownie while I make my most dangerous deal with a couple of stranded people on rats. What's dangerous about that? There are a divorced couple stranded on a raft, and I figure me and Harry could help them. Oh, well, they're poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> well, let's take you to Brownie's house. Let's do this. It is spring break, after all. Next stop, Brownie's house, because coming up next is Muppet Treasure Island. The reaction before the big season finale.